What's up fellow hunters, Nox here, welcome to another exciting build video. Today we're going to talk about the new best status builds for Switch Axe. I will show a non-augmented version first that is super easy to make, and a upgraded version with augments right after to give you some extra ideas. Let's go! We're going to start with the Peacemaker, a super comfortable high damage build for exhaust. Weapon of choice is the Reconquest, 390 attack, purple sharpness, a 30 defense bonus, and 36 exhaust. The first thing we need to address is that status builds for Switch Axe have a very different skill priority from elemental builds. We have max attack boost and Mail of Hellfire level 1 for a big increase to raw attack. Since we can't use any elemental skills, we crank up the affinity as high as possible with skills like Weakness Exploit and Critical Eye. Along with that, we of course have Critical Boost to get the most out of our critical hits. And since we're using status weapons, we're of course going to be using Build Up Boost, which even at level 1 has great value. It will increase our attack by 10% on any hit that applies status damage. These two things are going to be a big factor in all of these builds. We also have Powder Mantle and Coalescence here, which both add further damage to the build. Then we have Max Rapid Morph as well as some Evade Extender and Power Prolonger to add extra DPS and smoothness to the playstyle. You can of course add more Power Prolonger to the build later if you want, but for exhaust file types it's really not necessary. For Sharpness Management, we have Protective Polish level 3. This keeps our sharpness at purple for a full 90 seconds after sharpening. On top of that, we have Defiance level 3, which makes us immune to most roars, tremors and wind pressure when a monster gets enraged. Together with full stun resistance and intrepid heart, the build is super comfortable to play. And as a bonus, we have the combination of Camellio's Blessing and Spirit Bird's Calm. This will summon a Spirit Bird to us every minute and gives a chance to receive double the effect. By the way, don't worry about the talismans if you don't have a similar one. Since the first version of the builds is completely augment free, you can make up for anything you might be missing with a simple augment or slot upgrade. That said, similar or even better talismans are not hard to get anymore. If you're going to use these exact parts, the augment recommendations will look like this. The first thing to consider is adding one level of burst. After that, just go for whatever you personally like to add. Keep an eye out for Bloodlust and Build Up Boost as they have good additional value. Now we're going to take a look at my version of the build that includes augments and some part variations. We'll get to what exactly my augments are in a moment as well. As most of you know, I don't use any mods, so this is very manageable as I don't have any crazy augments. I switched out the arms, which allowed me to move some things around and add a few additional skills, like Blood Rite and Burst for example, as well as increase some of the existing skills. This build is a fun, comfortable option I always enjoy going back to. I highly recommend it if you like exhaust files. This is what my current augments are looking like if you're trying to recreate a similar version of the build. You can of course get any of these augments on whatever part you want. Cool thing is, aside from having at least one level of build up boost, none of these are actually necessary. The ones I would personally recommend are Wirebug Whisperer and Bloodlust. I definitely got lucky with the arms here and having Blood Ride is a nice extra comfort bonus. Next we have the Viper Strike. A new high DPS build for both Poison and Paralysis. We're gonna talk about Poison now and get to Paralysis later. The first weapon of choice is the Remobra Switch Axe. 390 attack, good wide sharpness and a huge 60 poison. This is one of the strongest non-elemental switch axes. The base of our damage increasing skills follows the same concept as before. Attack boost, build up boost and a big stack of affinity based skills. All the essentials like rapid morph and power prolonger are of course intact as well. But aside from that, this build has some big differences compared to the previous one. We have Camellio's Blessing level 3, which increases the time monsters will stay poisoned. That is a huge benefit here because we also have maxed out foray. This will give us an additional 20% affinity and 15 attack as long as a monster is poisoned. And then we have Status Trigger. After evading an attack with a dodge roll or silkbind move, all of our hits will apply status 100% of the time for a duration of 12 seconds. Along with that, we have two levels of evade window to make activating status trigger easier. The combination of all these skills has two big effects. One, it makes poisoning or paralyzing monsters over and over again incredibly easy. And two, while status trigger is active, we of course also get 100% uptime on build up boost, which is fantastic for DPS. You can also add Poison Attack level 3 to increase Poison from 60 to 77 if you like. For Sharpness Management, we're using Master's Touch, giving us an 80% chance to not lose any sharpness when landing a critical hit. We normally don't see this skill used much on Switch Axe, but in this case it works very well with the weapon's sharpness. Another reason why Master's Touch works well here is Blade Scale Hone, which we'll see in the Augment recommendations. Adding just one level of this skill will give us a 50% chance to get back 20 hits of sharpness when evading an attack with a dodge roll, which of course 
works great with this build because we already have a bunch of skills that synergize with evading. On top of that, we again have a bunch of bonus skills like Stun Resistance, Powder Mantle, Flinch Free and Intrepid Heart. As mentioned a moment ago, one of the main augment recommendations is adding one level of Blade Scale Hone into the build. You can of course add more, but I found one level to already be enough here. Aside from that, increasing Build Up Boost or any of the other existing skills is a good way to go. My version of the build actually doesn't change much. I just increased a few of the skills and then added Blade Scale Hone as well as some additional comfort stuff, like Wirebug Whisperer and Defiance for example. I have a second version of this as well, which drops some of the comfort in exchange for more attack and build up boost, but I actually enjoy using this one a lot more. This is what my current augments are looking like. Similar to the previous one, not a lot is necessary here. The ones I recommend going for are Blade Scale Hone and Burst. Cool thing is, Blade Scale is a very common augment despite being a level 2 skill, making it a valuable option that often drops along with other skills. The rest are essentially bonuses and you can definitely get something better. As we addressed at the start, we're also using this build for Paralysis. And the weapon of choice is gonna be the Feline Switch Axe. The only changes will be removing the Haze decorations. You can add Paralysis Attack in exchange for something else if you like, but I don't find it necessary. Necessary. You might have already noticed in the background footage, you are going to be able to paralyze monsters really quick and multiple times per hunt. This build is incredibly fun to use, especially in multiplayer. By the way, if you haven't seen the new best elemental build yet, I highly recommend checking that out. Demolisher, a super flexible blast build with a heavy raw damage focus. Weapon of choice is the Scorned Magnamalo Switch Axe. 380 attack, purple sharpness and 27 blast. The base damage increasing skills and smoothness essentials are all intact. Attack boost is even back up to max. The big difference here is that we're using Adrenaline Rush. At level 3 this gives us an additional 30 raw damage after dodging an attack. And the effect lasts for 30 seconds which is really good. Along with that we have Evade Window level 3 to make dodging attacks super easy. We don't have build up boost yet but that will of course come into play as well. We dropped it for the non-augmented version here because the Lucent Nagakuga arms are for way higher potential for this build than the Risen Camellios ones. Aside from that, we again have Powder Mantle and Burst to add further damage to the build. Sharpness Management is back to Protective Polish, but you can run this with Master's Touch as well, which we're gonna see in a moment. On top of that, Stun Resistance, Wirebug Whisperer and Intrepid Heart give us a nice amount of comfort. These are the augment recommendations. The build is very complete as it is, so you can really add whatever you like. Build Up Boost and Bloodlust offer the most value here. For the upgraded version, I added some of the augment recommendations and switched out the waste. This allowed me to increase some of the existing skills and add some additional things like the fines as well. I'm also using Master's Touch again, but I recommend only doing that if you added Blade Scale Hone into the build. Having Powder Mantle maxed out is a nice passive bonus that comes with the waste. The current augments I'm using are not impressive at all. I'm definitely gonna try to upgrade this a bit further. The head, arms and waist are basically just any beneficial level 2 skill that I could have used. Build up boost will be the one that's highly recommended here. And adding bloodlust complements the build with an easy source of affinity. All three status builds are great options if you want something that you can just grab and jump into any hunt with. If you want to see more Switch X builds, check out one of these videos. Thanks for watching, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.